Hey everyone. Today, in this video, we're exploring a cosmic mystery with profound implications for understanding the origins of life in the universe. Researchers are studying how cosmic radiation interacts with ice particles in space to form prebiotic molecules, the building blocks of life. This research is not only revealing how life could have started on Earth but also how it might arise elsewhere in the universe. Plus, it could even have applications right here on Earth in medicine and environmental science. So let's dive in. Welcome to Trend Storm. Chapter 1. Cosmic Origins and Prebiotic Chemistry Let's start with the big question. Where do we come from? The answer may lie in the stars. Scientists have long speculated that life on Earth, and potentially other planets, began with the formation of prebiotic molecules in interstellar clouds of gas and dust. Now, researchers are zeroing in on one key process. How low-energy electrons produced by cosmic rays interact with cosmic ice particles to create these essential molecules. Chapter 2. The Role of Cosmic Rays The study, led by undergraduate students Kennedy Barnes and Rong Wu under the mentorship of Wellesley College professors, reveals that low-energy electrons, generated as cosmic rays pass through ice, play a critical role in prebiotic chemistry. In fact, these electrons might be more important than photons, particles of light, in triggering the reactions that create life-building molecules. According to their calculations, the number of electrons in cosmic ice far exceeds the number of photons, making them the main drivers of these reactions. Chapter 3. Earthly Implications of Space Research but the implications don't stop at space. This research could have real-world applications in medicine and environmental science. Barnes and her team discovered that low-energy electrons, produced during the radiolysis of water, can release reactive molecules like hydrogen peroxide. These molecules are known to damage cells and DNA so understanding this process could improve cancer treatments that rely on high-energy radiation. In addition, these findings are being explored in environmental cleanup efforts, like using radiation to treat wastewater. The low-energy electrons generated during these processes could help break down harmful chemicals, making the environment safer. Chapter 4 Laboratory Simulations of Space Chemistry To better understand how these prebiotic molecules form in space, the researchers conducted experiments here on Earth. In the lab, they simulated the conditions of interstellar ice by using an ultra-high vacuum chamber and bombarding nanoscale ice films with low-energy electrons and photons. This allowed them to see firsthand which molecules are produced in these space-like conditions. They didn't stop there. The team is also studying larger-scale cosmic ice, like that found on Jupiter's moon Europa, which has a massive 20-mile-thick ice shell. Their work could help astronomers interpret data from missions like NASA's James Webb Space Telescope and the upcoming Europa Clipper mission. Chapter 5. What's next for prebiotic research? The possibilities are endless. The researchers are now testing different types of ice and adding atoms to see if low-energy electrons can create other important molecules for life. Their work is part of an international collaboration with the Laboratory for the Study of Radiation and Matter in Astrophysics and Atmospheres in France and they're uncovering exciting new insights that could reshape our understanding of astrochemistry. We're standing on the edge of a new era in space exploration and life sciences. 
This groundbreaking research on cosmic radiation and prebiotic molecules could not only explain how life began on Earth but also guide future discoveries in space missions, medicine, and environmental science. Source. American Chemical Society. So what do you think about the cosmic origins of life and the impact this research could have on the future? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more exciting discoveries. Thanks for watching Trend Storm, and we'll see you in the next episode.